What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo and this is the Fantasy Premier League review. Now I know all the games finished on um, Sunday, uh, but I didn't get round to doing it because I've got a preparing to do. Uh, like I said, it is a struggle. I also got carried away a bit with all the videos I was recording um, in preparation for not being here for around two weeks. So you have at least a few things to feast your viewing eyes upon but um, yeah I've got it now and 48 points last week was pretty good I think Sanchez in the end blew the average up by about 10 points up to 52 points so we're slightly below average but you know I feel like uh, my own naivety putting Aguero straight into the team as the captain instead of sticking with Ivanovic because I was toying between Ivanovic or Aguero so I had to risk it with Aguero that risk did not pay off but there were still great positives you know Austin, Kane, Silva, Ivanovic all scored Fabregas and Hazard didn't score that was the biggest shock they didn't score at all oh I burped um, and also you know Mares is in there Klein that was a that was a big miss for me you know a very very big miss um, because I had Hudson and Clichy in thinking they'd do alright, but they didn't. So yeah, as far as reviewing is concerned, I'm still sticking with Krull. You know, he's got Southampton at home, a tough game. Then you got um, Hull away, Stoke at home. And the fixtures after that, got Palace, apart from City away, you know, you've got Villa at home. It's a decent five-game run where you can get clean sheets. And look, even if you're not getting clean sheets, you've got a chance to make quite a few saves, hopefully. I mean... I, think, I don't know, it didn't say how many saves he got against uh, Chelsea. I will have a look. He made two. Never mind. He made two saves, that's alright. But, uh, you know, if you make a lot of saves, um, you get quite a few added points on. I say quite a few, like four saves. I think that's one point. I think David De Gea made eight saves once, and that was two extra points. don't think he's ever gone that high. Yeah, I think the highest has gone was I saw five or four. Um, but yeah, it's a good chance. So even if you have got a Burnley goalkeeper, um, you also have a chance to get points. Defense misjudged it a bit again. I feel like Villa let themselves down against Leicester. Uh, Manchester City were poor against Everton, and uh, Dimitrovic, as, as always, was brilliant. Got the assist uh, um, for one of the goals, and Klein also was a surprise package. I expected because Manchester United had such you know big attacking options especially with um, you know everyone being fit you got James Wilson you know well, I mentioned him first because he's got the you know, young sort of naivety sort of talent and you've also got you know Falcao, Van Persie, Di Maria, Rooney, Mata, you know Fellaini in the air you've got, you got everything in that team you know just to bulk up and attack with you've got two of the wing backs you've got Valencia who's powering down always getting balls into the area you know it's a it's a quite, a, it's quite an attack fighter minded team and Chris Smalling <coughs> but, um, <laughs> um, but I, I, didn't, I didn't expect him to get um, no goals in that game and you know Clown played well he did play well against um, United and he deserved his clean sheet and um, you know that was uh, that was an unlucky pick for me because I, I don't think many people would have seen that coming against United but the midfield Sigurdsson, Hazard and Fabregas are all poor Silva again, you know, get another assist, and why am I not surprised that he is since he's come back from injury? You know, maybe he had a poor game against them, but then he's rocketed, you know, absolutely rocketed with points. You know, Palace 3 0 donned that game, you know, West Brom donned that game, Burnley really helped in that game, Everton got the vital assist to them to break the deadlock. I think it was Fernandinho who got the goal. Um, but yeah, that was all the midfield. I think I, I had Mahrez on the bench, but I can't play him. And of course, my front three. Two of them played well. Guerrero coming back. He will pick up points. Um, he's only picked by 12% now. So that is a chance for me to really um, leap forward. Because uh, quite a few people took him out of his team. I don't think many people are going to be putting him back because of the front three of Kane, Austin and um, Costa. But I feel like um, if I don't put him back, they'll be missing out on something 
um, with Costa because Costa, uh, Costa against the teams that defend really well hasn't done anything. Aguero will do anything against anyone in my eyes. You know, he's, he's the City player that people need to watch out for. When you play City, you think, there's two players for me. You took a, If you're going to be trying to get past and score goals, Vincent Company, he's not playing at the moment. If you're going to try and defend, eeny, meeny, miny, Aguero. You know, as much as Silva is a danger, Nazari is a danger, Jovacic is a danger, Sergio Aguero is the one you look at and think, well, my goodness, you know, we really need to try and defend against this guy. And that's why I feel like only 12% is kind of a... Oh, missing, you know, missing opportunity there with um, him and as well, surprise surprise, Austin's picked by quite a few people and Kane's picked by quite a few, picked by quite a few people, but I used my wild card last week um, I've shown that, we have one free transfer in this week and as far as transferring a player in is concerned, it will be a like for like swap but I'm not sure who I want to be honest uh, I am, Sanchez is an intriguing one, he is an intriguing one, uh, for the simple fact I think he's proved again, Arsenal need him, you know, in a game like that, I mean, flipping heck, you know, if, if you're not running the team like that on the wing, then my goodness, you know, he'd have a dry spell admittedly, of two games and a few games after that, but you know, he's picked up quite a few points and quite a few games where he's picked up quite a few, um, goals so he is definitely a player that I want to bring in but with that I need to plan it out and maybe take players out um, from other positions and I could easily go back to having a um, front three of Kane, Austin and Diego Costa but I feel like Aguero will score more points and if I want to bring Sanchez into my attack I have to look elsewhere and elsewhere, the only position really is Hazard, and that I don't want to get rid of Hazard. However, I can get rid of Ivanovic. Now, if I'm going to go on Chelsea, uh, Chelsea's defence is strong. I want to I want to say I'll put Ashley Aquetta there, but I feel like um, personally. Is it is it worth it? Because I'm getting rid of him and I get 7.1 million, I get an extra million and then 11.7 million I can bring in... where is he? Here. I can bring in Alexis Sanchez. But I want to bring him in and really go for it, so... You know, I'm going I'm to try and plan it out in my defence with a way for me to get um, cheaper players in in a defence and you know, have a variety, as I don't want to have, I, I want to keep Ivanovic, don't get me wrong, I want to keep Ivanovic, but I want to try and find a way to bring in, maybe get rid of Mares. Uh oh that's going to be very, very tough, get rid of Mares. bring in um, Alexis Sanchez, that is a tough ask, I know, and it is very, very, uh, it's, it's unlikely to happen because if I the most the best I can do or best I can think is um, now big old um, the big man himself Tony Pulis is in charge. Um, wisdom goes. What does that leave me with now? Sigurdsson can go. That's not enough. Mares can go. That's not enough. If both of them go, that's enough. You know, and that's Sigurdsson going 9.2 million. It's it's a it's a tough one. It is a tough one. I would have to re-jink my team, I'd say. We have re-jinx the words. And I want to keep Hutton in. So he's, he's, he's a point scorer. Um, I don't know where he is on here. How many points has he got? Will he be on here? 60. He is there then. 4.2 million I get for him is 4.4 million. Um, if I was going to get rid of, him, rid of him for anyone, I'd bring Silver out. Um, only reason behind that... You know, is because he has, you know, he's had quite a dry spell there. He had um, an injury when he had um, a quad for quite a bit, and I think if City get their team back to full fitness, Silver, he will, he will be needed. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if we have a look at City's team here, um, look at the field. They've got Yaya Torre, they've got um, Silva. Besides that, they've got no one really. Navas, Milner, you know, Nasri hasn't done much. If we look at their midfielders, 
We can't look at them midfielders, for Christ's sake. This thing is not working out. Um, yeah, we can't look at them midfielders. I think that's all the midfielders and what they're trying to say. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Because I, I would like to bring Sanchez in. And like I say, the only way it around it is to either get rid of Aguero or get rid of Hazard. And Aguero, for now, I want to keep on to. And I want to feel like I'd leave it for now, I will leave it until the end of the um, transfer period because uh, as I'm recording this, um, Yaya Snow goals has just left Arsenal on loan to Crystal Palace, whether that's been updated or not. Uh, no, it hasn't. He's left on loan to Palace for the rest of the season. I believe it's Palace for the rest of the season, which obviously means that if Snow goals is going and Welbeck, you know, Welbeck and Giroud are the only two strikers, Snow goals is seen as a backup. Campbell and Akpom, I don't think they really count. There will be another attacking option coming in. And I just feel like it's not long now before it is put in there. And, and you know, hate to say they were on man team, but, you know, that pretty much proves it. Um, but besides from that, that is pretty much going to be that for this episode. I'm going to keep my, um, keep my transfer. I'm going to try and plan out a way so I can... Um, Really get advanced, um, get, um, maybe Mares out, hopefully, and bring in Alexis Sanchez. There is a way around it, I can, I know it, I've just got to work hard to find it. Um, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for the amazing support you're keeping with me on this series. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, let me know, I think, in the comments down below, subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Well, you know what you should be doing, you should be subscribing. <laughs> You know what, I'm keeping this one. You should be subscribing to Kurt Yo because he's a legend and this took two takes and I still got it wrong.